Why are women so attracted to toxic masculinity? And this is a question that you might be like, oh, the woman has a guy that's going to treat her well, do everything nice for her, you know, give her the world. And then there's a guy who's literally ignoring her, treating her like shit, and is literally just toxic. And then she chooses that guy. And it makes you think, okay, what is that guy? Why, why him instead of the other guy? And it's, you know, there's a few reasons. But one of the main ones is, if a woman usually grows up with toxic behavior as a child, so say she has daddy issues, say she's going through uh, problems uh, as a child, and she doesn't know, you know, what a good man is, or she doesn't know how men are supposed to treat her, when she runs into a guy, if a guy's cute enough, or if a guy gives her enough attention, or if a guy does meet certain criteria, she's willing to overlook the fact that he's not meeting other criteria and still accept them. So if a guy is cute enough and gives her enough attention and tells her she's beautiful twice a week, she forgets the fact that he, you know, ignores her the rest of the week. She forgets the fact that he, you know, is probably talking to other girls, doing whatever, makes her mad and does whatever. And women don't like to be bored. So the alphas or the toxic guys most of the time are the ones that are spontaneous. They're the ones that break the rules. Women don't want to be bored. So if you're going against the grain or you're breaking the rules, you're doing things that she wouldn't predict or you're making her feel, you know, a rush, adrenaline, you're more likely to get her compared to a guy that makes her feel nothing. It's like anybody can make a girl horny, but if you're, you know, making her feel like she's life on the edge, women like that. That's why motorcycle guys are literally considered the bad boy. Why? Because when you're on a motorcycle, it's like, it's, it's, it's dangerous. The fact that you could die any second is the part that people get a rush from. That's what skydiving, stuff like that. That's what women like guys who drive fast cars, you know, because it's like the fact that it's dangerous is what women like. So if you're exciting and you live life dangerously or, you, you know, somewhat dangerous, I'm not saying go out there and kill yourself just to impress a girl. But you gotta be spontaneous, you gotta be fun, you gotta be not boring. Okay? And the reason why guy, women like toxic women is because toxic men are, the reason why women like toxic men is because toxic men are everything besides boring. They know how to be fun, they know how to be spontaneous, they know how to not care, they know how to do what they want. And women like that because if there's a guy who is like, oh babe, we're gonna go, you know, skydiving today, the other guy's thinking you go eat dinner, you eat dinner every day of the year. But how many people are make, letting you jump out of a plane? You know what I'm saying? There's a guy who is like, oh, babe, we're going to go drive in my car. you drive driving a car every day of the year. But how many people have a motorcycle that are going 110? So it's like the fact that it's like not only different, but it's like it's spontaneous. It makes you feel a rush. It makes you feel, oh, my God, we could get, you know, the fact that it's dangerous. Oh, we could die any second. But the fact that we look to tell the story. Oh, whenever she goes, oh, oh man, you won't believe what, what me and him did. Oh, he was, you know what I'm saying? The women, women like not being bored. So if you're not boring, if you're not boring, then the fact that the women will stay is not even going to be surprising. And the fact that the women like toxic men is not even a surprise. Why? Because toxic men are interesting. They're, 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 they're fun. They know how to keep a girl stimulated. They know how to do what they want. They know how to be spontaneous. And normal guys are just like oh that's illegal oh then we're not going to do that because of this oh i don't want to get in trouble oh i don't think we should do that oh you should stop doing that and there's no fun in that if you're always following the rules if you're always never getting in trouble there's no fun in that women don't want to be bored so if you're no fun then you're boring and if you're boring she's not going to stay why because there's other another guy that's more fun than you so if you want to keep a girl you have to keep her excited you have to keep her having fun you got to keep her interested by being spontaneous and some women have different things that they consider fun so figure out what she likes and figure out what the things that she considers fun and exciting and do more of that and every woman might be different but at the end of the day everybody likes to have fun even you as a guy like to have fun so a woman isn't any different and so if you if there are things that make you have fun you might be able to do those things that she comes and tags along and has fun too and then the reason why women like toxic men is because those men will be doing things that they consider fun and they'll invite the woman. The woman comes and has fun too. And then even though it's like things that are toxic, like, oh, I'm driving fast or, you know, I'm skydiving or doing whatever. It's like most people aren't going to be doing that. Most men aren't going to be trying to break the rules or whatever. The guy is going to be like, oh, let's go to this abandoned place right here. Or let's go, you know, smoke or do whatever here. Or let's go drink and do this and that. And then the most guy, and then the regular guys, gonna be like, oh no, we don't want to get in trouble. Oh, let's not do that. I don't think we should. Oh, that looks unsafe. You know, so women don't like that. And the toxic guy is gonna look past that and and break those barriers. So when a woman is like, oh, that looks unsafe, woman's like, okay. The guy's like, okay. When a woman is like, oh, we don't know if, she, if we should do that, the guy's like, oh yeah, it's, trust me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? 
and most of the time the toxic guy knows how to be a leader if you're toxic you like not only self-centered or whatever but you know what you want so you know how to get what you want and sometimes if the things that you if you what you want is fun if you're doing things that are fun then we're gonna come and have fun too and then why don't people like that nobody there's nobody that's out there that's like oh i'm anti-fun it's like this and that if they do say that then they're just lame but the reason why women like toxic men is because toxic men are pretty much fun they're spontaneous and they're interesting and I'm curious to see what y'all think. If you if you disagree, leave a comment. Tell me why you think you disagree. And if you agree, tell me why you agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Because I'm going to post more videos like this. And I have other channels on my page. There's a video going to be popping up right there.